I just started something called the Goldman Consulting Group, which is actually, I think, turbocharging what you're doing, Marshall, because our outlook is that you can coach at the top of the house, but the cost benefit isn't the same throughout. But as Sharon is telling us, you need a culture that supports this. How do you spread it? And we've looked at companies do it well. And we're finding that, for example, if you can get the people on the C-suite or getting coaching, for example, uh, if these groups, for example, implement your model, we have a model, uh, Sharon mentioned, you have to be practice. This is not the same as learning in school. This is building a skill. It's like working on your golf stroke. You have to keep practicing every day. Marsha, you need that feedback from people who see you every day. And as Sharon says, you want to feed forward. You want to accept the feedback as news to use. But we see the, uh, the potential for doing this in groups much lower in the organization to spread the emotional intelligence into the culture. Uh, I think that's, ex- that's really important and completely complementary to what you're doing, Marsha. I, I completely agree with you. I completely agree. And again, there's a, I'm, there's a million things in life that are important that I'm not doing. And that's one of the millions of things in life that are important that I'm certainly not doing. I, I have trouble enough just working with one person at a time and trying to help them do a few things better. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's kind of the limit of my skills here. <laughs> On the other hand, I love what you guys are doing. I love the organizational impact. I love the idea of working together as a team. And I love this idea of spreading the word. And, and again, back to, back to Sharon's good point, I love measurement. Because if you don't measure things, how do you actually know it does any good? That's one thing I always like about stakeholder coaching. You measure things. And I just love the idea of measurement. And most people don't have the courage to do it. So, again, I'm really applauding you and your leadership because you're not sharing. You're not doing this by yourself. If you didn't have some support, you couldn't do this. A lot of HR people believe like you do, and they don't have the support to make it happen. So some people aren't on this call also need a little round of applause. You could have some support from some executives in your company helping you do this stuff. So, so Daniel and Sharon, I love what you're doing. I think it's totally complimentary. And I think it works at all levels. 